Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called help a thief. So you have to help a thief to steal as many gold coins as possible from a gold mine. So there are some gold boxes and each gold box consists of some plates and each plate consists of some gold coins. So you have to print the maximum gold coins that the thief can collect. Okay, so we have to help a thief. Very interesting problem. Let's start. So we are given that we can only take three plates. T equal to three means we are allowed to take only three plates. In the first array, we are given the number of plates, right? So for example, here we have one plate having three coins. So let me write here we have one plate and that one plate has three coins. In the next case, we are given we have two plates and each of the plates has two coins. So next we have two plates and each of those plates has two coins. Next we have three plates and each of the, that plates has one coin. So let me draw out three plates. Each of these three plates has one coin each okay but we are given t equal to three that means we can only pick at max three plates now we want to find out the maximum number of coins that you can collect so it is very simple now which three plates are you going to pick right so obviously we'll pick the plates which has the most number of coins so i'm allowed to pick only three plates so first i will pick this plate because it has three coins if I pick this plate, it has only two coins, right? So first, I will pick the plate which has largest coin. So first, I am going to pick this plate which has three coins and I will choose this. So now, in my answer, I have three coins, okay? So now, the number of plates that are left for me is two. I have picked one plate. I still have to pick two plates. So next, among these all plates, again, we will pick the plate with maximum number of coins. So you can pick this plate. So now, my answer is equal to three plus two, which is equal to five, okay? Now again, I am left with only one plate. So which is the plate that has maximum coins? This plate. So I will pick this plate. So now I am left with zero plates and my answer is seven. So finally, in this case, the output is equal to seven. Okay, that's it. So the problem is very simple. We just have to keep on picking the maximum plate. Okay. Now let me erase this and let us start coding it. So what we are going to do? Uh, we are going to uh, store the answer. In a priority queue priority queue means max heap so in this priority queue we can store uh, because this priority queue by default is a max heap so if we just store the answer in order of the uh, number of coins that each plate has we will have the maximum number of coins uh, at the front right so that is our logic so that's why I'm using priority queue you can also use a different approach you can use another array to store it and then sort the array so there are a lot of ways to do this problem right so i am just simply using a priority queue to solve this problem so what i'm going to do in my priority queue this is my priority queue it is going to store a pair why it's storing a pair because i am going to store the number of coins that it has along with the number of plates that are available having such coins right so i'm going to store the number of coins first because a priority queue by default sorts according to the first parameter right so it will sort by the number of coins i want to choose a plate which has the maximum number of coins okay that's that's what i'm doing so that's why i'm going to store in this way now let me iterate for int i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus i'm just going to store in my priority queue so i will give pq dot push so b of i gives me the number of coins and a of i gives me the number of plates that have that many coins okay for example what am i storing in my priority queue let me take this example so that it's clear so this is this is my example right let me write it here this is my example so in my priority queue what am i going to push first of all i am pushing three comma one that means i have a plate which has three coins i have one plate that has three coins after this in my priority queue i will push two comma two because i am pushing i have two coins in two plates okay then in my priority queue i'm going to push one comma three i have uh, one coin in three plates so this is what i'm going to push in my priority queue right so this is the logic and it will get sorted uh, by the number of coins so first three then two, then one. So we can see that it has got sorted in the priority queue. It will get sorted itself, right? Okay, so this is my priority queue that I have. Now let me uh, just take a variable answer and initially answer is equal to zero. And finally, after doing some bit of code writing, little bit code, I'll return the answer. So what is that code? So I have given number of plates that I can select, right? So I will 
that is t t is the number of plates that i can select so till i have till i have the capability to select plates i will keep on selecting my plates right so the logic is very simple so the topmost value at the priority queue will be this value currently okay and the first parameter of that right the first part will be 3 so this is the number of coins so let me write the number of coins the maximum number of coins in any plate i can get by this right and then to get the number of plates that have this coin i can just do pq uh, dot top dot second so when i do this first time in this example this will be 3 and this will be 1 okay now what i can do to my answer i can add what should i add see uh, let's say my t is equal to 3 right in our example my t is equal to 3 but i have only one plate which has three coins so i should add 3 into 1 as my answer i am selecting one plate with three coins right so what i should add to my answer i should add coins into plate okay that is what i should add okay and finally what i should do i should do pq dot pop so that will pop this current element and then next time uh, next time what i will do okay next time i also have to reduce t because now when i am selecting this plate so i have to reduce t by the number of plates that i select so currently what will become my answer my answer will become 3 into 1 which is 3 right so my answer has 3 because i have selected 3 coins from that one plate and now what is my t the value of my t is going to be 2 because i have taken one plate right so first i had t equal to 3 but after this my t will become equal to 2 and next time i will pop the element so i pop this from the priority queue now my t is equal to 2 okay now let me see i have this at the top of my priority queue so the first value is 2 the second value is also 2 i have two plates with two coins right so now what is my answer answer will be 3 plus 2 which will be equal to sorry 3 plus 4 so answer will become equal to 3 plus 2 into 2 which is 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 right and after this t minus is equal to plate so t is 2 i have taken two plates right so now 2 minus 2 will become equal to 0 so t will become equal to 0 and then i am popping this from the priority queue but when i do this t is equal to 0 so we will exit from the while loop okay now this is working fine right but there is some problem in this code and what is that problem see it worked fine for this particular example but okay let me rewrite this entire example we will take the same example let's say t is equal to 2 right so let me rewrite the example with t equal to 2 that means i can only select two plates in that case what will happen let us start from this very uh, same example but uh, but we will change our t if t is equal to 2 okay again we will start what is the number of coins in the first so first i have three coins and i have one plate which has three coins okay so what is my answer my answer will be equal to 3 into 1 so my answer will be 3 and what will become t t will be equal to t minus plate so i have taken one plate so 2 minus 1 will be equal to 1 so now see 2 minus 1 i had two plates that i could take but i am taking one plate right now so it will become 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 and i will pop this from the priority queue so let me pop this from the priority queue now t is equal to 1 okay now what happens next time what is the number of coins you have two coins and you have two plates now what will your answer become answer will become equal to coins into plates answer will become equal to 3 plus 4 again it will become equal to 7 and what will t become t minus is equal to plate right so uh, the number of plates that you have taken is 2 but you had only one plate so in this case t will become equal to minus 1 and you will pop and this is the wrong answer why is this the wrong answer first of all our t became negative that means we took more plates than we could afford to take we had only one plate but we blindly took two plates right so this code is wrong so we have to make that little change in code so because of which here we will have to uh, write one thing okay so here we don't have to just multiply the answer by coins into plate rather when we have less t compared to the number of plates right so we have to take whichever is smaller so minimum of t comma plate we have to take that right minimum of t comma plate that will ensure that this case also works fine and t doesn't become negative okay and here you have to again when you are subtracting 
you have to ensure that your t never becomes negative if t becomes negative you will get the wrong answer okay so now let us run this case again and now it will be correct okay let me quickly run this case again with t equal to 2 and let us see what happens okay so let's start so t is equal to 0 the number of coins you have is 3 and the number of plates that you have is 1 so answer becomes equal to 3 in the first iteration now what is minimum of t comma plate right so right now we have more uh, plates that we can take we have only one plate but we can take two plates so right now we are not in a problem right so it's very easy you have the capability to take two plates you take one plate so your t becomes equal to one okay and then you pop this element so now let's go to the next case next time t becomes equal to one and the number of plates number of coins you have is two comma two now in this case see you have the capability to take only one plate so even though two plates are getting offered to you you can take only one plate so this time to the answer we will just add two into one so this time your answer will become equal to five which is the correct answer which is what should happen and in this case you have the capability to take only one plate and you are taking also only one plate so your uh, t will become one minus one which will become equal to zero so t never becomes negative right and then you can pop this from the priority queue so next time when t becomes equal to zero you will exit okay now when when we are popping there can be cases when t is given too large right so we may not even have sufficient plate so we can also give one condition pq should never become empty okay so if pq becomes empty pq dot pop will be wrong right and you can never get the top element if pq is empty so we are you also have to give this additional case that's it this code should work fine let me just run and see if it's working so it's working let's submit and see if it's working for all the test cases so it's working guys there's just one little thing that i wanted to tell you uh, so we have Geeks for Geeks courses and uh, during my placement preparation Geeks for Geeks was very useful. I had actually taken the data structures and algorithm courses. It was very helpful for me to uh, brush my concepts and it was uh, pretty amazing to uh, you know clear doubts. They have a very good uh, doubt uh, discussion resolution uh, you know forum and uh, doubts also used to get cleared very fast. So I would recommend you to try this course if you want to learn data structures and algorithms. I had personally taken it and I found it really amazing. They also had a great variety of questions that I could uh, practice and uh, I practiced a lot of dynamic programming problems actually from uh, DSA course and I found that it was very helpful. They also have other courses, data science course, complete interview preparation courses and also you can check that out and if you want to check these courses out right there is a coupon for you you can use coupon alicia on any of the courses and you will be able to get a discount so guys please do check it out if you are interested and if you want to take test preparation series this is also very helpful i had actually taken the microsoft test preparation series also and the questions were uh, pretty amazing so guys try it out if you are interested thank you